Gimme, take it away. All right, uh, Fiori Sabretsari. Um, let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, my Zugadori here is Alex. He is going to reach out with that arm, and I'm going to have to check this arm right here, because I assume he's either coming with a strike with a weapon or even just a punch. Then Fiori says that I need to use my right arm and to go straight past his elbow, like so. I aim for this little groove in his shoulder so that I can push that into his ear, creating the arm bar. We're just going to change direction so that this can be seen from here again, like so. Then what I can do is I can move my arm into a strong horse tooth and bring him to the ground with the second play. The third play can easily be moved into from the uh, first and second play. So if we set this up again, Alex decides to bend his elbow, that's fine. Using the palm of my hand, I'm going to control his chin, which immediately starts to break his trunk, allow me to step behind and throw him over my leg. Okay? The fourth play of the let's actually show it in this direction, my friend. So, here. So he steps in. What's going to end up happening here is there are two things that I want to try to achieve. One, I need to suppress his elbow like so. This is especially important if I am facing a barrel-bellied opponent, which within Emma, we do have a lot of, because sometimes I won't hey. be able to. <laughs> I'm just being honest here, folks, okay? Fiori can be verbose, so can I. So Fair in enough. this case, Alex is not. I can take my back it above his tailbone. This right here is going to be the fulcrum as I push my hand against his chin and post a longa to this particular fall right here. Now with the fifth play of Avritzari, he's going to have this foot forward and I'm going to have this foot forward. The shearing motion is still the same. The biggest difference is the fulcrum now is not my back hand. My fulcrum is my legs. Regardless of whether I can reach his tailbone, I am going to suppress this arm, move his face, and then bring him over my leg in the fifth play of Amritsari. If Alex decides that he doesn't like that, he can always use the sixth play, which is the elbow push. If for whatever reason Alex is fighting against this, that's fine. We have the eighth play of Amritsari, which I can use as a little grease to stick my finger right here in his ear, and ah, uh, I have the third or the fifth play available to me. Um, we're now going to look at the seventh play of Abrazari, which Alex is going to perform on me because of my, <laughs> my knee. Where the sort of archetype of, of this sort of, um, this play comes in is if we're moving around and Alex gets this opening. One of my arms is high and the leg that's on the same side is stepped back, creating this right here for him to move through. Now, my interpretation of how this has to work is as Alex moves through, he needs to affect my fortitudo by affecting my hips. He's going to do that with his own body as he comes in like so. This starts that motion of me being pushed over like this, which allows him to be able to do this move less as a fireman carry and more as... Go for it, friends. This is not hard for him, okay? We're going to, we've already shown the eighth play as grease to make the fifth play more possible. We're going to put the ninth and the eleventh together, but now we're going to skip to the tenth, which is the Gambarolo, which I very much dislike. So does Fiori, he's not a big fan. The biggest thing that I find about the Gambarolo to do this successfully is, is to remember that I already own Alex's space. He doesn't know that yet, though. I don't want to break my own fortitudo by trying to bring my leg around in a circular motion, because look what I've already given him. He now has the Gambarolo on me. What I just need to do is step straight forward. Look at how strong I am. If Alex does this to me, because I don't want to continue with this on my leg, like so. This needs to be done quickly, because whoever has gets this first, gets this first. It's not very good for either of us. Other things I can do, if for whatever reason we're fighting, I can create that space by affecting Alex's hip, like so, and then walking through. Okay, let's now look at the ninth and the eleventh. Ah, the full Nelson. Fewer 
Roy being the wonderful man he is, has given me great ways to deal with this. I need to find some sort of wall or tree or object to smash this man against. In lieu of that not being available to me, I'm going to try to seek the ninth play. But first things first, I got to deal with these. So I'm going to base myself out like so, getting nice and deep. I'm going to affect his hands however I can, the fingers, as well as maybe trying to achieve a strong board's tooth with both my hands to break this. Then, I'm going to take this leg, my right, I'm going to shoot it directly back behind me. Oh, look at that, I haven't even swiped this arm around and he's going over. Again, my stance is strong. I'm not trying to move around myself. I'm in a nice sort of post alonga position, albeit with mixed match leads. From here, I go from post alonga down into Porto de Ferro, taking him over my leg. Now let's look at the 12th. The kick to the groin is unpleasant, but it's not necessarily a fight ender. The kick to the groin, however, can leave the opportunity for me to then seek the third, fourth, or fifth play, as shown. If I'm able to knee him in the groin, depending on what's available to me after that kick, since this leg is forward right here, I have the fourth play. Even if Alex moves to void that groin kick, that's fine. What do I have here? The fifth. All right, eye gouges and face stuff. As a woman who's been in a bar many times and had to be on a dance floor, this has happened often. When drunk guy decides he wants to try to grab your waist, that's okay. I am post frontale to deal with that. I need to be quick with it and I need to be strong. I don't just sit here and receive it as he moves in. I take a small little accrescimento form just to make sure he's pretty darn clear that I don't want him touching me. However, he does have a counter to this. He's got to catch this quickly though. As he goes to grab me and I move into my strong post alonga, sorry, post frontale, he yields to the pressure moves back, and then he shoots forward. Fiore specifically says that he should use his right arm against my left. However, let's unpack this for a second. In the Getty, and only in the Getty, even though the text says the left, he clearly shows it drawn with the right. Let's look at that. First, let's take a look at the left. So, as we set this up, one, two, Three. So here he's grabbed my right, which is what is shown in the Getty, but not put in text. I am still in not a very good position. However, this hand right here is available. So as Alex is trying to take me down, maybe I can grab him. Maybe I can bring him down with me. Whereas when he goes for the left, as is written in the text, he has blocked both my arms. He has checked them both, and he is literally shoving them back into my own face. That is best. The other one is better. Seek to achieve what you can, but this is what the goal is. Last but not least, if he grabs me from above. Get, a, get right on my shoulders down. There we go. So what I need to do first and foremost is I'm going to try to affect his elbows with a strong horse too. This decreases the distance between the two of us and breaks his structure. Then using a strong frontale, push his face. However, he does have a last minute oh crap reaction, which is, as I'm going for his face, he instead goes to gouge my eyes. And that, my friends, is the noble art of Fiori's Albertsari. Do you want to? Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. Just. Uh... Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, I'll start with with my question. So, you seem to have a pretty good grasp of the specifics of the plays. Uh, if you had to sum up the grappling section to a recruit, give its give its main themes. What would you say? Its main themes in relation to the art as a whole. Or the main themes as it's only related to Albrecht Zari and Grappler? Like, so, um, uh, if, you were to, if you were to ask the recruit, or tell the recruit what you should see, what kind of grappling you're going to see in Fiore, right? What are the main sort of concepts that Fiore is looking at? 
I think it's looking at uh, specific um, specific motions and movements um, that you're always trying to re-achieve. And a lot of it is looking for relations. If you see a bent arm, mm. we want to oppose that with, uh, sorry, a straight arm is opposed by a bent arm, but we want to break it or bind it uh, or put it into a key to achieve that. The other thing is looking at archetypes in which I can throw him. We have the different shearing plays as well as the third play of Albertsari and the fifth play, which uses the leg as that fulcrum point. And I think it's learning to identify these positions, even with the seventh play. When you have this opening, that's when you can seek to go there. In the Gamble Rolo, if he and I are moving, we might just be in a clinch and I just feel that sort of thing open up as, he, as I take a small step back. That's his moment of opportunity when he feels that, ah, to take that. It's learning to recognize these small few archetypes, but also looking at different compliances we can use, particularly pain, like the shot to the ear, like the groin kick, which can get the reactions we need to create the space to achieve that. Cool. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So I don't have a question. I just have uh, something that I'd re recommend adding to yeah. this would be uh, at the very beginning, a clear presentation of the four wrestling posters. Right? And, and, then, and then move on from there. I am so sorry. It's okay, I'm sure it was in your mind, it just didn't make it on the I, floor. I don't post it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, only thing I would like to see more is some of these things done at a much uh, tighter range. So we tend to practice them a lot with grabs really far away, but more where your heads are in chests and uh, okay. as an addition. As an addition, okay. I like it. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> yes. Okay, right. thank you, folks. One question. Oh. Yes. Obviously, we, we have discussed this, unfortunately, in the past, but the, uh, the play that does not agree with the get uh, text from the uh, did you consult another text for consideration? Uh, both the flaws and the PD. Okay, and what were you finding in the PD? Um, I was more looking to the PD for the visualization because with the Getty as well, it's not just that he's going with um, to the right arm, he is so much further away than all of the other images show. And even though it's very clearly written in the text, the left. Did you get some combination? Yes, I did actually. The presentation was very good. When you take that on the road, you got it great. Great. Let's have another round of applause for Kimmy. Thank you. Thank you.